Hello everybody, my name is Ace and these are my scribbles. The first one I'm going to be doing is the brown. When I was a kid and I drew the brown crown, I usually drew, drew mud, dirt, bread, chocolate, peanut butter, nuts, tree trunks, Nutella. Um, and I decided on a girl character because brown also reminds me of Girl Scouts, which I did not realize until later in the video. I wanted to give this character some wild and messy hair. I wanted it to be like, have like a fun, wild, young look to it. I didn't like the first one, so on the second one, which I really liked, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a stick in her hair. Mostly because when I was playing in the dirt, mud, and woods, I would have leaves, stuff, leaves, sticks, and etc. in my hair. Ha! <laughs> fun times. I didn't like the cowlick at the end either, which was a bit weird to me but it didn't really fit. reminded me of Girl Scouts, but I also wanted to make my own Scouts, the Kid Scouts. You would get the best of both worlds, of both the Girl and the Boy Scouts. It'd be perfect. So in this world, Kid Scouts would be in the peanut butter selection right now, so she would be a peanut scout. I also decided to give her a Scout vest. And I don't know about the other scouts out there, but um, when I was younger and I was in the Girl Scouts, my scouts were really relaxed with rules and uniform. All we had to do was bring our slashes of or a vest and a smile. So the same would be with the Kid Scouts. It would just be nice just bring your badges, eat some sandwiches or cookies, whatever one you like more. Um, I also gave her three badges. I gave her a camping badge, a fishing badge, and a ice cream making badge. Uh, I loved making ice cream in the Girl Scouts. My mom actually led those groups because she knew how to make ice cream with plastic baggies. Really fun, you should look it up. Um, I have no idea what her name would be, but I would love your ideas. Would you join the Planet Scouts? <laughs>
the next color would be black. Um, when I when I use the black crown, I'd always make do the outlines with it, or make night skies with those little tight, tiny white dots that you just don't color in. Um, I would make street zebra stripes. And I would do those little V birds, you know, the birds in the distance, like you draw a V and you call it a bird. And I actually liked drawing mimes when I was younger too, so I would draw mimes. And I really liked the thought of an idea for a mime character, so I went with that. It's been a while since I drew a mime. Um, I want to keep it mostly black or dark or in the gray area because another crown I would use a lot would be the white crown. So while looking up mimes, I also noticed mimes had painted facial hair, which I have never seen before. Um, it was just very cool looking and also very odd to me. I was also thinking about giving him a pet curl, but at the last minute I decided against it. Maybe next time. Um, I also gave him stripes like all mimes and zebras have. I also gave him very large and overly cartoony gloves. have a name to tell since he can't talk. And does he have a pet crow at home? Or is that at the park that he works in? 
Well, here's my character based on the black crown color. To the next one. Now we are at the white one. With the white crown, I used it a, kind of a lot, kind of not a lot. I would use it for snow or lightning other colors because when you, I, that's really what I would mostly use it for. If I had a crown that was too dark, I would just scribble the white crown on top of it. I would also use crowns and robot snowmen. Um, a robot snowman is when you put snow in your trash can and flip it over like a sand castle and then pat it down with your snow shovel. Um, me and my sisters would do that because we cannot roll snow into balls. We just put them in a trash can and flipped it over and called it a day. Uh, white also makes me think of soft and white fluffy things because snow. And as I was thinking for this, I was thinking, why not a snowy prince? Since we got a lot of bunch of princesses in the world, why not some princes? I thought it'd be really cute to give him a little mold too. And while I was looking at princes' outfits, they all looked really, really alike. They're not as variant as the princesses. But I like the small fluffy hoodies and slash capes that they have, so I gave him one of those. I also gave him a bunch of golden buttons. So everyone knows he is rich and is a prince because a lot of princes have those golden buttons. Also since I was using the white crown color, I was going to use it to lighten all the other colors like I did when I was younger. So the kind of pastel paint, I also gave him a conveniently shaped rock to lean and step on. I ended up changing a bit from the headshot colors at the end and also gave them a, a more a dynamic pose than the other ones.
be the prince of. Well, what is his probably really, really long and complicated royalty name? Would he be the fifth or the sixth? I don't know. It's only for you guys to decide. Now for my personal favorite color, blue. Blue has been my favorite color as long as I could remember colors. Blue also reminds me of the ocean, the sky, rain, sadness, and whales. I instantly knew of a character idea I somewhat wanted to have. I wanted to do a female face since the last two were male. Then a fisherman based character because of the ocean and whales. I also put a little whale on her chest pouch later on. I was also thinking about giving her an umbrella, but yet again, changed my mind the last second. I also gave her this really happy and relaxed face, because blue makes me really happy and relaxed. Because she is my favorite color and my favorite character so far. I also gave her some blue dreads, but the ones near the roots of, would need a bit of a touch up. She probably just goes fishing for really long trips and then doesn't get her hair redone for a while. But maybe after her next fishing trip she will. She just probably just enjoys the ocean. I gave her a really puffy and warm sweater and with some nice rain boots. I was thinking about making the rain boots really wide and put fish in them, but I decided last second that looked ridiculous. This is her, but who is she? Why is she? What is she? You have to tell me. I hope you all have a wonderful
wonderful day and don't forget to scribble. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, then please subscribe. And if you want to see the part 2, yes, there is going to be a part 2 of this video as fast as possible, then hit that bell.